Damon, I'd like to know if you know that Hicksville swampy banjo type country twangy thing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Like this. There you go. That's it. Motorsport is downright dirty in the Deep South. Whether it's mud bogging, swamp buggy racing, or swamp jeeps, the locals just can't seem to get enough of it. Swamp buggies were invented to enable people to go hunting in the Everglades swamps of Florida. Now, however, they'd rather chase each other around a figure of eight course, and both the spectators and the wildlife are happier. The course also contains trenches called sippy holes, that's Sippy as in Mississippi. Folk get serious about their buggies, serious enough to be divided into different categories. There are Jeeps, there are four cylinders, there are six cylinders, there are eight cylinders, air-cooled and water-cooled buggies. Though you'd have thought there was already plenty of water cooling going on. The bog monsters they first built have evolved into high-powered mud skimmers that skid across the water. If you win your class, then you go on to race people in a higher category in a bid to become the mud king of Florida. And you get a shot at the big feature now? I guess. I don't think I, I got don't too much to go there. Think we got to think positive now. Come on. Yeah. It's all very well setting out to think positive, but finals are stressful occasions, and you need more than just positivity. You need guts, guile, balance, and fists. Yeah, you definitely need fists. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, you might win through to the big feature. And if you take the chequered flag, then, my son, you'll a swamp buggy world champion be. Ooh, oh, an insult to injury. Yeah. He got slimed. He did get slimed, and he wasn't happy about it. But when it comes to sliming, swamp buggies are nothing compared to mud bogging. Mud bogging is the missing link between swamp buggies, drag racing, and the monster from the Black Lagoon. Needless to say, it can also be dangerous, and when things do go wrong, mistakes can be costly. The mud rat went from a $70,000 highly specialized race machine to a worthless pile of junk in seconds. 